Welcome to day 2468 of What You Have to Know. Sharon Hornell from here, documenting the journey and experimenting a little bit this week. Yesterday, I recorded this segment on my Sharon Horn Elstrom page. I tried to do it on a couple of my other pages today. Wouldn't work. And now I am on my painkillers page. Why? Because I'm testing the different functionality on different pages because I record three videos every day. And I'm finding each page that I record them on on Facebook, there's changes and I have some features on some pages, not on others. Super duper frustrating, by the way, Facebook, just so you know. Well, today in Supersize Your Business, I asked another question. And that is, what is one thing you would change about your business or know that you need to change about your business in order to remove the bottlenecks, the, what's stopping you from supersizing, scaling, and growing that business? And for me, I said, and it's got to do with what my get up today, is fun. I would add more fun and lightheartedness and uh, less seriousness to the businesses that I run and operate in. I think that, uh, especially now, there's so much tension in the world. We need to take a deep breath, be thankful for the gifts and the things that are working in our life, and not worry so much about the things that aren't, because they all have a way of working themselves out. Because we are problem solvers. We are a problem-solving I, my daughter has got two spirited children. And so we've all been reading the spirited child book and it talks about being a problem solving family. And we are definitely a problem solving family, both from uh, my family. I grew up with my, my sisters and my dad and mom, my family and my kids, we were a problem solving family. Although sometimes we ignored problems far too long. I was definitely guilty of that. And uh, now my Kids and their families are problem-solving families for the most part. So that is what we were talking about. And I'm just asking questions for a few days in, uh, and probably today was the last one because I'm going to do No Nonsense November. I, I decided yesterday, I don't know how or why, but I don't think I did it last year. So I want to do it this year. Just going to share 30 to 35 of the biggest lessons learned by myself and those people that I've worked with over the last decade, four to five decades, to... Uh, make our lives easier, to make our lives work. Uh, because there are a lot of things that we can do to take, there's a lot of things that we can't control, but there's a, a lot of things we can control. And one thing we can absolutely possibly control is how we respond, how we react, how we deal with the things that happen outside of our control. So uh, I I'm, I'm, think we're launching into No Nonsense November starting tomorrow, because tomorrow's November 1st. Uh, for the Let's Grow Annual Challenge, it was our, I've got a peek down here, seventh day of our growing process, which stands for give to get, which means what we put out into the world is what comes back to us. And that's why I want to put more fun into my businesses and out into the world and with my granddaughters and in my own life so that we can enjoy the time we have here because we never know how long that is. Uh, so we talked about the giving to get. We've got PJ Story and Guide to the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group page. That is the one video that I've been recording consistently on my Sharon Hornellstrom page and then transferring to the private group. Guide one is all the videos for this year. Guide two is a write-up and a story, someone's story to illustrate how they use the example or the, the topic that we're talking about, the growth topic we're talking about, because the whole challenge is to do one thing every day to grow. All right. Happy Halloween. That's all I've got today. I'm, I'm a little batty, a batty witch. My granddaughter wanted me to be a pumpkin, yet I don't have a pumpkin costume. So this is about this is about as close as I can get to being a pumpkin. And who wants to be a pumpkin? You turn back into one at midnight. Not so fun. Obviously, granddaughter's Cinderella. All right, if I can help you anyway, hit me up and ask. Again, I'm testing this on this page, but I'll post it around like I usually do. Just trying to see if I can get some of the functionality back to get my reach back up. Uh, Facebook has been making so many changes. I used to have a bunch of people on my live videos, and now there are goose eggs, which to me doesn't make any sense. However, it's a political campaign, and sometimes I don't keep my mouth shut. And so it could be the algorithms filtering out my, uh, my ability to appear. All right, have a great day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.